Hello, this is Eric Evans with Surveyor Source, and today we're going to be talking about the HP Cyprint. This will be a bit of an unboxing and a product video at the same time. If you're not familiar, the HP Cyprint is an autonomous layout printer, it's essentially a printer on wheels. So we can take from a CAD drawing uh, the ability to upload that to HP's cloud services, which are included, and be able to take this device onto a job site, set it up, and to be able to print layouts directly on concrete and asphalt. Let's jump right into the box in here. Take out the device itself. So this is the robotic printer. The handle part here also comes off. And this is where we're going to mount the robotic total station. So the owner will be able to keep track of this device on site. We need to pair it with a robotic total station. Now that can be uh, any one of a number of different brands or models, uh, and they're listed. They'll list them and list them for you below. Uh, but that's what keeps track of the unit outside. It's able to locate it in space so it can be able to do all the layout printing. Uh, got the battery compartment up front here. Two batteries are included for all day printing. More batteries can be added as necessary. In the back here, we have where we put in the cartridge. Now the cartridges look like this. There are a couple of different varieties of cartridges depending on how long you want the print to last and what surface that you're printing on. But print cost is not something that's calculated by cartridge with this system. So what HP has done is included everything in with usage fees. So cartridges, warranty, batteries, access to the cloud system, essentially everything that's associated cost with this device is included with the usage fee. Now the usage fee is 20 cents per square foot. There are also linear options, and options if you're just doing points. So the square foot price covers essentially everything that's needed with the device. Now, the way that's calculated is after you've got your drawing prepared and uploaded to the cloud, what you print is what is charged. So essentially the software surrounds the area, not what you're loading, but only what you're printing. Uh, so it surrounds that area and does a square foot calculation, and that's your usage fee, and this is built out monthly. Now, if you're thinking, I've got a very large project, and the cost can, can really skyrocket, but HP has built in caps to this building process. So at 10,000 square per square foot per day, so if you print 10,000 square feet, you can print more than that, but you're not charged any more than that. You also have a monthly cap, you're doing really big projects that's taking a longer time. Uh, at 25,000 square feet for that month, there's a cap. Again, you can print over that, but you're only charged up to that amount. So there's some kind of cost caps that are built in that really do help with uh, savings on the device. And speaking of savings, what the main advantage of this thing is not, is, uh, having as much labor uh, doing your layouts. Uh, so you'll, especially for a manual situation, but even over a automated situation like with a robotic total station, uh, the user uh, is not, just needs to be able to operate the tablet, essentially tell the unit to print and keep, be able to keep track of it. So those uh, laborers who've been doing layout now can be freed up to do other things. So there's a tremendous cost savings there. There's also savings in accuracy. Being able to see the printouts on the ground and be able to verify them on site is a huge advantage. The accuracy of the unit uh, is within an eighth of an inch. What it's printing out is going to be accurate to within an eighth of an inch. Uh, so to be able to see also the visualization of the data on the ground is an incredible advantage. Let me take the underside of the unit here. This is where the print head is. You can see it's got several different nozzles, so it's able to print uh, lines, curves, and text. Uh, so we can add a lot more detail to a job site. So of just having a wall line, now we can have the door openings. We can also have labels, like a room label. Or for mechanical, we can actually print points out as well. That's the, that's the other thing you can run with this device. With text, so you can have be able to locate the, uh, the mechanical things on the site and be able to put a text with them that describes what that is. Again, that visualization is a big part of the advantage of using a device like this. Included with the setup here also is a remote control. It's kind of a video game style controller. Uh, on the job site, we've got obstacles, people walking around, different trays on the site, perhaps. So the unit operates autonomously, but also be able to be, needs to be able to operate safely. So included in the front of the unit are LiDAR sensors, able to keep track of what's in front of it. If there's an obstacle that detects in front of it, it will automatically stop, and the operator will be able to pull it off and be able to redirect it. Uh, also, you've got fall sensors on the corners of the unit. So if there's a edge to, let's say, a concrete slab, or even something taller like a multi-story building, uh, there's no danger of it falling off and being a hazard that way. If it senses a fall or senses something of an edge, with these sensors, it automatically stop 
and stop printing the operator will need again to intervene uh, and be able to redirect the printer where it needs to go. Now, in terms of the operation, uh, we prepare our CAD drawings. CAD drawings need to be prepared. HP has a utility that's included with this uh, that does that for us. Uh, we load three different layers into the software. We have a print layer. That's what's actually going to be printed. We have an obstacle layer. If we know there's obstacles on the side, like the edge of the concrete, or maybe a elevator shaft or something there, we can define those in the CAD drawing, uh, upload them to the, the cloud services that are included, and the printer will automatically know to avoid those areas, those areas where it won't go. But also we upload a control, um, a control layer as well. Now, the setup is done, no matter what brand of total station, by total station that you use, through the HP software. So again, this simplifies things for the operator. They've got one uh, port, one device that they need to use. It's any sort of tablet can be iOS or Android. Uh, it, got, it will uh, automatically go to the cloud. There's a built-in modem with the device. Again, that's included with the usage fees. Uh, it's able to connect to the cloud in that manner, uh, set up the drawing, define the areas where you want to print, and hit the print button, and that's essentially what the operator does. Now, the tool station doesn't need to be set up. Uh, control does need to be established on the site so the total station knows where it's at. But after that, pretty much hit the print button and the robot will go out and print the areas that, that you request. For more information or to be able to see a request a product demonstration, uh, please visit us at surveyorsource.com.